What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. And today for you, we're going to be talking about a topic that I would normally say, well, we don't know much too much about it, but we're going to be talking about Creative 2.0. And you might be wondering, what, create, what is Creative 2.0? If you know, you might have heard some stuff. We're going to be uncovering everything we know so far, leakers, and like everything that we all know about it. So yeah, this is leakers, YouTubers, We all. this is what we all know. And so yeah, so I hope you all make, like, subscribe, hit the notification down, down below. Make sure you, you know, subscribe, comment, any opinions about this, comment what you, what you think. Yeah, how do you feel about this? How do you like? This is the creative we needed in the first place. This is all I'm going to start out with. Okay, make sure you like, subscribe. I said that. Now let's get into the topic. Creative 2.0. We needed this creative in the first place. Because creative 1.0 or whatever you want to call that. Just normal creative. Whatever you want to call it. It made like competitive get big. And I'm, I'm not this and competitive. You know, competitive. You want to be competitive. You do your thing, you know. But what I am dissing is, it just makes Fortnite not as fun. You might be wondering how, why, you know, like, that type of thing. But Fortnite competitive made more people quit because, if like, you can't play arena, and, you know, and I, like, if you, why would you play arena if you don't like competitive? That's normal. But now you got these people in pubs that just keep, like, cranking, and may, it, everyone's, like, just sweatier. And they just keep building, like... If you want to do that, you should play arena, but they don't, and it's just made people better, and type of thing, because they have playground, and playground didn't really do much to help people, you know, that was more of a fun type thing, you know, I kind of miss playground, now we got battle lab, which is, okay, uh, what, uh, you get it, you get it, you get it, but yeah, what I'm saying is, uh, this is the creative we 2.0, is what we needed in the first place, but now let's talk about what it is type of thing. Creative 2.0 is going to be a modding type thing. So you can have like a lot of Monos characters dancing type thing. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I had to use a Monos character or Fall Guys characters. But yeah, you can have them just running around here doing their own thing. And you know, and like, you can like, it's more of the name stands for itself. Create not sweat, sweat mode, or sweative, or whatever you want, however you want to use that name, yeah, it's not where you, I mean, you can probably still build, you probably can, but that's not the reason for it, will creative still be in the game, I don't know, will this, like, n take it over for good, or will it still be also in the game, and you play both, I, we don't really know that, but we do know, let's get into the information, now, Tim Sweeney, or I don't know if how you say this name, Something like that. That's the owner of Epic Games. I don't know if I probably butchered that last name. The owner of Epic Games said Creative 2.0 will be this year. And by this year, yeah, by this year, I think he he didn't mean this season. So most the he he did say it will not. It's not soon. It will be like this year, but not soon. So what does that mean? He said that, I think, today or yesterday, or the other day. I'm recording this on Tuesday, getting this information, so I don't know much about it. But, he, yeah, he said it's going to be not soon, but will happen this year. So most people are saying the start of the end of the season, which they're very doubting it, but either the start of that season or just mid-season in a huge update. Maybe a huge downtime update, they'll have it. So yeah, most people are saying October to December is most likely when it will launch. And I think, honestly, I can't wait because this is the creative we needed. We didn't need, like, people just sweat and that's all it was made for, you know? Like, like I like the games that's like Bed Wars, all them, like, fun games, not, like, the 1v1 games, like. Like, Red vs. Blue, them games are pretty fun also, but, you know, like, the Team Deathmatch type thing, not just, like, the Zone Wars or Bots fight. I mean, I'm not dissing them, you know, they're also really good in who made them, but, like, I just think that's, I just, you won't find me playing them modes, pretty much. I usually play the Team Deathmatch or, like, just, the uh, has nothing to do with weapons, like, Bed Wars or something. Yeah. 
I mean, you can have weapons of bed wars, but it's not like kill everybody and that's how you win, you know. There's a certain goal at winning with the weapons, you know. So I, that's, that's what I find myself playing in creative, like now. But I don't play creative too much, but I sometimes do. But talking about, yeah, so October to December is when it should launch. Or somewhere in there it should launch. We don't really know when. We just know sometime in that period it will be launched. And so I think it will launch about that time also. I, they, they did say this year. But they didn't say like when this year. But if I had to make a prediction, I would say it will be this year. And it's going to be fun. It will like make Fortnite really fun again. A lot of people I feel like will come back to playing Fortnite Especially like the people that's not good that play zero build and return to zero build. I feel like them players might just make a return. Am I going to like it? Probably. I mean, we don't know too much. We know that you can mod. You can make a lot of different crea cool creative stuff. We don't really know much about that creative stuff. But we do know it's going to be really fun of whatever we can do. So, yeah. Far Monkey and all of them said... It, this probably will take over like Fortnite. Like this is where I'm going to be where the majority of the Fortnite players play. And I hope it takes over creative like normal creative. But I heard it's going to be really fun. You can make your like. You can like put a bid statue of your skin. You. You know you can make any skin statues. You can make statues. You can make like actually creative maps. Or not creative maps. It's like actually Fortnite maps. Like. And it's going to be 50 players, I heard, as well. So, 50 player creative, you know, have a zone war in it. That would be pretty fun. Not have a zone war in it will be really fun. Because I'm just not a zone war fan. No dissing on zone wars, but I'm just not a fan. But, yeah, I think this is going to be really fun. I'm going to enjoy it, hopefully. Hopefully, it's actually fun. You can probably make, like, Fall Guys maps that actually looks like Fall Guys maps. You could probably make the full Chapter 1 map. I know we do have, like, the Tilted Zone Wars, which is pretty good, and, like, the Chapter 1 map, which is pretty good. But, I mean, it's not the full thing. It's, like, three, four locations that are the main ones, like, Tilted, I think, Dusty, like, stuff like that. But it's not, like, the full one. And because it's not the full one, I feel like, I feel like we could actually make the full map. And, like, actually the map, which will be really cool. I will be playing that if we do. Or the Chapter 2 map. Or whatever kind of map you can make I feel like that you could probably make them in this and if you could you'll find myself playing it so uh, let me know your opinions on this do you think this is gonna be like fun do you think you would play it because I know I will make sure like subscribe hit the notification down below I'm dopey gamer and I'll catch y'all in this video dopey gamer, I'm out. peace deuces deuces let's go peace